fantastic. NASA's lunar lander Odysseus touches down safely. A new era in space exploration unfolds. This marks the first time an American lunar lander has touched down on the lunar surface since Apollo 17, which was over 50 years ago, and a massive achievement for NASA, intuitive machines, and especially SpaceX. So, what's next for all these companies? How will it impact humanity's effort to go back to the moon? Stay tuned as we explore in today's episode of SpaceX Flight. Before we get in, please don't forget to like and subscribe, and hit the bell so you don't miss another awesome episode. And with that, let's dive right in. Odysseus took seven days to reach the moon, and on February 22, at 6, 24 p.m. Eastern time, it was finally confirmed that it had landed on the moon's south pole. This was the first successful landing by a commercial enterprise and the first American landing on the moon in over 50 years. This achievement received many praises such as this one from NASA Administrator Bill Nelson, who proudly declared, What a triumph! Odysseus has taken the moon. This feat is a giant leap forward for all of humanity. Stay tuned. And SpaceX founder Elon Musk, who said, Congrats! This incredible adventure began at 1. 5 a.m. Eastern Time on SpaceX's Falcon 9 rockets when the lander successfully separated from the second stage of the Falcon and headed towards the moon. The Intuitive Machines team regularly updates their Twitter profile with information about the health of the spacecraft throughout the journey. All systems, including power and communications, were functioning flawlessly. Of particular importance was the fuel system which was the reason behind the previous astrobotic Peregrine mission's failure. Along the route, there were a few little issues that were promptly fixed, like brief moments with a poor mission control link. Along the journey, Odysseus also took plenty of pictures, like this one taken on February 17 following his separation from the Falcon 9 second stage rocket and another of Belkovic K Crater, which is located close to the lunar equator. The flight control team has started exchanging additional data, including distance traveled, speed, time, engine thrust, and much more for processing. Despite the challenging lunar environment, the lunar lander is still operational and sending data as of right now. As compared to NASA's astrobotic Peregrine lander, India, Japan, and other recent moon missions, Odysseus's journey time was much shorter. This is important because shorter journey times minimize fuel boil-off and lower the risk of electrical system failure. Additionally, the lander touched down safely, unlike Russia's Luna 25 that crashed, or Japan's slim lander that landed in the incorrect orientation. It might even outlast India's Chandrayaan-3 in terms of mission duration, but we'll have to wait and see. The accomplishment demonstrated the ability to overcome a wide range of obstacles and demonstrated exceptional collaboration, perseverance, and inventiveness, qualities previously celebrated by intuitive machines. These attributes played a crucial role in achieving such achievements. All of this would not have been possible without SpaceX's commitment to lowering the cost of spaceflight and its determination to make it accessible to everyone. SpaceX created the Falcon 9 rocket which has launched more than 300 times on February 20, a frequency of launches that is unmatched by any other rocket, and it plans to increase launch frequencies even further, to 148 missions in 2024 before taking into account Falcon Heavy and Starship, making the Falcon 9 alone the most launched rocket, a record that no other aerospace manufacturer can match, not even the ULA's Falcon rocket, which is non-reusable. Although human landings on the moon have not yet occurred, IM-1 has paved the way for human landings by beginning with an unmanned landing. Additionally, we cannot overlook SpaceX's enormous contributions to this entire project, not only with the lunar lander but also in the near future when it will participate in Artemis 3 and 4 missions by carrying astronauts to the lunar surface, as well as paving the way for groundbreaking achievements in the distant future. And there you have it folks. Thank you so much for tuning in. Please share your thoughts in the comments, as it helps us make better videos. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the bell, so you don't miss another awesome video. And with that, 
We'll see you again next time.